Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good morning. How you doing? Good. Amazing. How are you? Congrats. Nice to meet you, number finally. Number two, yeah. All fine? So number two now, right? Yes. Whoa, good job. That's my wife. This is Shani. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. This is Joe. So how's it going, man? Enjoying Tampa so far? Yeah. Yeah? The weather is amazing. I just had a very nice morning walk. It's always like this. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's not. No. <laughs> I was like, you guys got one. Yeah, this is like the typical May morning in Germany, like 15 degrees outside, like yeah. 60, 60 Fahrenheit. Yeah. You can hear the birds yeah. calling. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. So nice. Well, that part we have that, but normally it's hot. You we'll go a little bit early. You're so, you're so focused and prepped that you lose all these little things around you, like yeah. the sun is shining, the birds are calling, yeah. it's so nice. It's just your next meal and your next session. Exactly, yeah. exactly. The main sense you have is hunger. I'm hungry, that's the only sense I have now. Honestly, I was not that hungry. Not bad? Not that. Well, yeah, that's good. You have no idea how long I was waiting for the workout. Yeah, sweet. Like four years or five years yeah. already. Yeah, I, I'm watching your videos daily. Binge yeah. watching. Honestly, <laughs> I'm sitting, yeah. honestly, I'm sitting in front of my computer and write down what you say. Yeah, nice. I do. It's awesome. Sweet. I learned a lot. Good, man. So guys, this is Joe, the hypertrophy coach, one of the, I guess, the best hypertrophy coach. You know that. <laughs> Thank and you. We're going to do a push session together. I'm going to listen and learn carefully. And we're going to answer some questions, guys. So this video right now is just the workout, but the next one's going to be the question and answer, which is really important for you guys. Believe me, I can tell you. Sweet. Hope I got some good stuff. IFBB Pro Mike Sommerfeld wird präsentiert von Climax, dein Partner für Fitness Essentials. Who else was up there? But yeah, I thought all, all across the show, like the top 10 I thought was really good. Mm -hmm. And there's been years where it's like, not like that. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, obviously Classic was fun. I was even excited to watch like, cause I, you know, know Laura Lee. So it was cool. It was like all the classes were great. And obviously I like seeing uh, Andrea win. Cause obviously there was a little bit coming in with bodybuilding from, I can't remember the other competitor's name that beat her at uh, Wings of Strength a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was like obviously, you know, kind of exciting to see if there's going to be any upset there. But I think that was the best Andrew we've seen in a while. I think she kind of answered that question pretty definitively. So, yeah, it was good. Great show. I missed so many divisions, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, Neil gonna... said, go back to bed, rest. Yeah. I wanted to watch the show, but yeah. it's so exciting that you don't sleep and you don't relax. Like, oh, yeah. You squeezing with them on stage. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, so, that was good advice. That worked out for you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. I need, when I'm sleeping, I'm getting so much better. Oh, yeah. Two night shows. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, the weekend was <laughs> crazy. Yeah, I bet. Whirlwind. Do you know how long it takes until it really sinks in? No, I don't. <laughs> I've been a long time. People ask me, how do you feel? I still can't answer the question. Yeah. I always tell them, like, it feels like a movie. Yeah. But you were basically a part of it. Yeah. It's heavy shit, though. Yeah. Heavy shit. So you're still working on it. Mm -hmm. That's what you should say. If people ask how you feel, I'm still working on it. I'll, I'll let you know in a couple months. I'm talking about it all day with, like, Rachel and my wife and different people. But it's like, mm -hmm. every time I'm talking about it, it's like I'm talking about Spider-Man fighting the Hulk. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, it was amazing. It was really exciting. Yeah. But obviously, Hulk was beating... Spider-Man, but yeah. the fight was amazing. But yeah, I was like, shit, man, I was Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, I'm Spider-Man. It was not a real fight. It was obvious that Chris gonna win, but standing right next to him is a big thing. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, ninety-nine percent of the people. Yeah, just be next to this guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was great, man. You looked awesome. That's the Chewbacca one. I actually just replaced that. What is that? It's like a seatbelt cover. But it's Chewbacca, you know, from Star Wars. Sure, Chewy. bro. Yeah. So I had to find a good one. Dave owns this is a Star Wars fan. So I was like, that's a perfect seatbelt to put on there. But the other one got trashed. It got salt. It was uh, in like the salt, like two weeks ago, salt water, sewage water crap. It's nasty. <laughs> that's so cool. The pads, yeah. Mm -hmm. The fact that it just stays like that. Yeah. tells me that people working oh, yeah. here, yes, they know what they do. It's quite uh, quite tucked in there, yeah. Well, nobody else does it in here, so it's either me and a couple other people, Rachel. Rachel Schwartz, what, what she's going to be the What kind of gym is that, actually? What's that? 
what is it? What, I, I mean, that's a private gym, right? Uh -huh. that's, uh, yeah. that's a house. Yeah, well, it used, to, it used to technically be a business, but it's like a really, you know, obviously just unique building. Is it yours? No, so it's, I, I train, you know what, Dave Batista, you know who he is? The wrestler? Yeah, actor now, whatever. Uh -huh. So I trained him, this is his. He built this for like him and me and his friends to train at, basically. Okay, wait, wait, he bought a house just to put machines in it. Just, yeah, well, it's not really a house, it's just a gym and an you, office. You told me, I guess, right? And yeah. I was like, okay, people buying houses to put machines doesn't in it. happen a lot <laughs> yeah well he wanted to have a gym like he got to a point where he couldn't like work out at normal gyms without people like bothering him so he had it in his mind for a while that, like i, I want to like just have my own gym uh -huh. and so when i was working at another gym when i left he was like oh it's like perfect timing he's like i was getting ready to like want to steal you away from here anyway and like get my own place he's like so we'll do it really fast and so we were like looking at different like properties and stuff and he was looking at like at first more like kind of like warehouse garage style places And his realtor is like, I found this really unique building because he likes kind of like unique different stuff. And he's like, I don't know. She's like, I don't know if it'll work for a gym, but I'll like have you guys check it out. And so we went and like, he was kind of like, basically we're just like looking at it. He's like, is this big enough to be a gym? And I'm like, yeah, I can make it work. We'll figure something out. And so that's, that's how it came to. And obviously, like I said, especially when it's not just trashed by two hurricanes, it's like super immaculate, especially like the living spaces. Cause then obviously he wanted like a big kitchen and on the other side, like it's a big U shape. It's like, I, I have an office. There's like a little like, hangout area and then he has a big giant office in the corner and then you'll see too he's really into like mma we can like at least walk up the stairs he has like a little like mma area upstairs it's got a, like half a yeah uh, that's, and, and that's rachel a little posing bit, area that's a little bit too much for me right now yeah it's pretty cool. so yeah it's pretty amazing guys we're actually here in dave batista's house in his gym his gym not his house yeah. people which get confused is, about that yeah. are you at his house i'm not at his house yeah. which is equipped with as far as i can see the best pieces of equipment of each company we have prime nautilus what else cybex yeah arsenal, arsenal. Yep. got the watson dumbbells that's wild that's wild yeah that's a good deal you do like mtv cribs yeah oh yeah i believe me germans love mtv cribs i totally didn't even realize that that dave did that on like the muscle and fitness or something did like a There's like a big YouTube where it's like, show us like your gym or show us your, oh, you your fridge or something. Yeah. And it was, I, like, I, I had people been like, because I had more people after that air be like, do you work out at Dave's gym? And I was like, why are more people asking me this now? And I saw he did some video that got, you know, a bajillion views where he does a tour of the gym. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Let's check it out. Yeah. It's amazing stuff in here. That's why all the floors are, thankfully it didn't do new floors. I would have sucked if they just put new floors in and then it happened again. So that was the only good thing is all the floors, normally it's like nice floors. They're all like ripped up up front. Because they had to like take all, they took all these up, they like sterile, dried everything out, sterilized the crap out of everything. And then right after that, the next hurricane flooded with rainwater. So random. How often does that happen? Never. So like, so as long as, I, as long as I've been here, I've been here for, on this coast for 30 years. And I'd never seen it flood like that from like the ocean. And then the other thing, so that it was two completely separate things. So the hurricane wasn't a direct hit. But just because how we were on the back side of it, it made like, you know, like a six, mm -hmm. eight foot tidal surge or whatever. Because like the, you know, the bay is like right over there. And so it literally just, we're not very high up above sea level here. Yeah. And so all the water came in through and that, like, I've never seen that happen before. And then the crazy part is after that, then we got hit pretty directly by a hurricane. It actually hit like, like maybe an hour south of here, the center of it. But we had literally on like the north side of it, they call it like a thousand year rain. Like we've never had that much rain. Like so we literally never get that much rain in that period of time again. It happens like once every thousand years. Oh, so wow. it literally was so much rain. It wasn't the, any tidal surge. It was just rain mm -hmm. flooded like the whole area, like places that would never flood before. And so it was literally, it didn't get quite as high as maybe like six inches, like a couple spots that like puddled through here. So the only thing that was bad about that is then everything rusted because it filled up and then we didn't have power here for like, this didn't have like, Four, yeah, days. at least five or six days or something. So then it got, everything got wet. You know, we came in and dried everything out as quick as we could, but things got some rust on it. How without electricity? <laughs> At first they had like the very first is they had like a generator just getting some stuff in here. Mm -hmm. um, but then like right after that, like the first day that it was like they had power back on, they had everything hooked up and fans set up and dehumidifiers and all that kind of stuff. So wow. but <clears throat> that's why it's still, it's kind of musty up here. Just don't walk on the mats. No shoes on the mats. That's Yes. Here? Yes. Ah, but with no shoes. It's forbidden. No shoes. It's definitely a big no -no. Guys, this is my personal me as a female. 
I actually call her sister and she her name is Rachel Hello. Daniels. She's the best female poser I know personally. Thank you. She's amazing. Thank you. If I if I have I taught her everything she knows. Posing, I'm I'm gonna ask her. <laughs> Joe Bennett has yeah. taught me. He's my posing coach. Right. You're gonna get all these. Not not the posing, posing. just all the dance moves and the transition. That's what I'm really good at. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, we're just kidding. Stop. Stop. Legs. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah. This needs a good rake. This raking. is the walking lunge area. Yeah, lunges or uh, prowler pushes when we do that. Yeah. Dream chaser. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll show you guys the power. I normally don't show this is what powers the whole place. This is this is secret over here. I feel like this is on MTV Cribs. Come on, come look. <laughs> <laughs> this is the computer that runs the whole place. <laughs> and then it, uh, it runs on the flux capacitor right there, mm -hmm. the, the secret. So mm -hmm. that got blown out by the hurricane. Smart. Yeah, and then we have the backup Duracell batteries, you know. The sink case. Yeah. You gotta pay. That's, sorry, Mike. This is a go. To work out. Put yeah. a dollar in to work out. Find something else. It's like a dollar a rep. Baby, do no, I have guy. my brownie fudge lipstick with me? You know that. I don't know. Since we we've been. You guys want to see the other half? Vegas, my lips are my and my skin is so dry. That's the other half, so so dry. You guys want to see, see the other half? Oh other yeah, half please, of the gym? please. Just I'm looking for my. Lipstick, real quick. I have a cherry chapstick. A cherry chapstick? Mm -hmm. yes. Are you Katy Perry? No. <laughs> yeah, she says that. I taste that. Uh, cherry chapstick. Okay. No, uh, I didn't even remember that. <laughs> no? No. The Kiss the Girl song? I forgot that. Yeah. I kiss the girl and I liked it. <laughs> you know, don't know? I know the song, but I don't remember that she was singing this. Taste of cherry chapstick. You want to know we get blocked on YouTube. Why? Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Copyright claim. <laughs> yeah. Guys, and this used to be a manly area. This now it's just is sad. Marvels. I'm sure they're broken. One of my favorite Marvels, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. And this guy right here, this is Dave Batista. That's Baker. crazy. That's crazy being here in his house. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. So. It's like a, a man's cave. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure we'll do it bigger and better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, at least gives a good excuse to redo it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It no, was my you. dream having this when I was a kid. Yeah. And I'm glad that my dad didn't buy it. Yeah. <laughs> you went on the opposite. I, I, was, I did drums for a little bit as a kid and it was not my calling. <laughs> you don't know until you try. Yeah, I just didn't have the patience, obviously. Yeah, you it's like if you if you if you want to be good at yeah. anything, obviously it takes. And I was doing other stuff, and I was like, you know what? I like the other sports and stuff I'm doing now, because it's like I have to practice hours and hours. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs>